Hey everybody, welcome to another quick video about helping beginners with quadcopters. Today we're going to be talking about acro mode. Let's get going! Acro mode. Okay, acro mode. So we've got our transmitter right here. We've got our quad, the Eoshin Wizard X220. And uh, one of the things that I was wondering about was, um, and it, I felt kind of silly because I hadn't really thought about this too much. Uh, even after I bought the quad, but what what is acro mode? What is it like to fly in acro mode? Um, or at least what you know what how does that what does that make the quad do? Okay, so basically let's talk about two basic modes. You have auto level and you have acro mode. There might be more modes like horizon mode or I don't know what other kinds of modes there are. I don't even I I don't know. But okay, so you have acro mode and you have auto level. Um, now, auto level is what you see on a lot of, it's like that's what's going to be on your aerial photography type quads. Auto level is going to be on your Hubson X4, this thing, which is great, by the way, you should get one of these. If you're going to get a big quad like this, like the Eoshin Wizard, get one of these, okay? It's like the cost of, like, I don't know, two, you know, four cell batteries. So just buy one of these so you can play around with it and learn to fly and fly in the house. Anyway, enough said, buy one of these. So the point is, this thing has auto level, and, um, in, in it has like what is called sport mode, but that's not actually acro mode. Okay, so in sport mode, it's basically just more sensitive, but it's not acro mode. So auto level is where. Okay, so we've got our joystick here and the controls. Of course, on the left, typically on the left, you have you move that up and the quad goes up because it's throttle. Except it's really more like if you did that all the way, it'd be like just gone, be gone. And then this is yaw, your your left, which is going to turn the quad like this, and then right, which is going to turn the quad like that. And of course, it'll just keep going because uh, it's going to be in the air and my hand won't be attached to it. <clears throat> so, and then on the right, we have, on the right stick here, we have forward, which makes the quad go forward. We have backward, which makes the quad go backward. And then we have side to side, side to side. Okay, cool. In auto level mode, what you're going to have is if you tell it to go to the right, it will go to the right. And then as soon as your stick returns to center, because it's spring loaded to return to center, the quad will return to center. And the quad is going to be like, all right, I'm just going to chill here. Now, it might keep moving just a little bit because of uh, momentum, but it's basically going to, it's going to stop trying to move to whichever direction you said. So acro mode, let's say, boom, acro mode. That's how I have it set up on, on my thing. But anyway, uh, acro mode is going to be where if you, if I tell the quad to go forward, it will go forward until I tell it to do something else. So even the stick has returned to the center, it's going to keep moving forward, okay? And, and then until I actually pull back just a little bit on the stick to tell it to, to, to basically level it. So I have to basically level this thing myself. And that's why you hear talk, people talking about how hard it is to fly in acro mode or how hard it is to hover in acro mode. It's really not too hard once you get the hang of it, like if you've been practicing even in auto level um, with the Hubson X4, but you can basically get yourself into a heap of trouble really fast if you, uh, if you are not practiced up uh, in acro mode and you try doing crazy stuff or if you're dealing with wind or something like that. In my limited experience of acro mode, I've found that you can get into the most trouble uh, the fastest if you try and do some sort of diagonal move. It seems like that's just the, the trickiest thing to uh, recover from and just to kind of get your orientation right. So I would just, if I, if I was starting practice in acro mode, I would just you know really gentle side to side keeping the same orientation I would not start practicing acro mode in FPV at least not you know not like right off the bat like not like you just buy the quad you set it up and then you start I mean of course I wouldn't even go FPV for a while until you can really control the quad quite well okay if this is your first quad which it shouldn't be because you should get one of these so as a side note and you'll figure this out when you're like actually learning how to fly this um, but you know because of whenever you move whenever you want to go forward and this is also true in auto level mode but whenever you go forward your quad basically the energy that you had from hovering so let's say the throttle is at you know around 50 percent and you're hovering and it's like or it's more like and it's hovering and then you say hey quad let's go forward a little bit and it goes well so what's going to happen is you're going to start going down because 
you're you're basically angling instead of being flat and level you're starting to go like that and you could think of it in a way like air is like you're sort of sliding off of off of the little cloud of air that you've been sitting on and you're kinda you're pitching forward but you're also gonna be going down okay so you're starting up here you pitch forward and you'll be going down a little bit so you gotta add a little bit of power so, so that way you can keep you can stay up and go straight so it's basically uh, when you actually start flying throttle management is a really big uh, really big deal and a lot of that you know it's just feel and I can't really tell you how to fly because it's it's kind of a different feel for everyone you just have to um, just have to fly it man. Just... oh man like you just gotta feel the quad you know what I mean mm -hmm. thanks for watching everybody uh, stay tuned for more videos if you like this Give it a like, you like, a thumbs up, and uh, if you have any other questions, please put them in the comments below, because I really want to help anybody who is uh, confused about this. I know I was very confused about a lot of different things with quads, so please put those in the comments below, and, um, and then maybe I or someone else will be able to help you.